Hi, this is Brad. Are you curious about what gadgets, what upgrades you need for your RV? Do you rent your RV on RV Share or Outdoorsy? Today in this video, we're going to share with you 10 items that made our list. Let's get started. If you don't already have one, a hardwired electrical management system, think of it as a glorified surge protector. It helps protect your RV against voltage fluctuations, power surges, and incorrectly wired shore power, which can cause severe and costly damage to your RV appliances and electronics. I like hardwired because it's more foolproof as it can't be lost, much harder to steal, and when it's hardwired, it automatically gets used every time you connect to shore power. It has a display that tells the amperage, voltage, and more. When you connect to shore power, there's a few second delay as it thinks to make sure all is okay before moving electricity into your camper. Just remember when connecting a generator to switch it to the bypass mode. The current 2019 price on Amazon for the unit we purchased is about $225. Well worth it for peace of mind. Another must-have upgrade in my opinion before renting your RV on RV Share or Outdoorsy is keyless entry. Many of those we rented to have commented how much they like this. And the pros of this are obvious. No key needed to be carried around and possibly lost. And it can provide entry of guests at your discretion with a unique code. Another perk is that it comes with a fob. What we like to do when it's raining is use the fob to open the camper door and then get out of our vehicle and we can get right into the camper. The only real con that I can think of is the purchase price or if there was a failure and you couldn't get back into the camper. So we always suggest that someone in the group that we're renting to keeps the key in their pocket just in case of a failure. If you have an old RV with incandescent lights, upgrade to LEDs. Advantages to LEDs are that they're cooler in the summer, they have less battery drain when boondocking, <laughs> and have a longer lifespan. A disadvantage is that they have a more expensive initial upfront cost. They may be a whiter colored light than you prefer, although that has improved somewhat recently. We suggest having a smart TV with a DVD player as your guests will appreciate it during rainy weather. You can get a set of two RV quick release TV mounts on Amazon for about $45. Rather than purchasing a $200 to $300 vibration proof RV TV, we chose to get a $80 24 inch smart TV at a big box store for $80. We stow it on top of our queen bed when traveling. If you have a queen or king bed in your RV and it's getting older and comfortable, consider upgrading to something more comfortable. We purchased on Amazon a Zenus 10 inch short queen memory foam mattress. 2019 price on Amazon is in the 400s. Because we also stay in our camper when we rent our home on Airbnb, we chose to spend the money to have comfort. We also purchased a bug proof mattress cover for added protection. In addition, we purchased a mattress topper that goes over this and it has a regular mattress pad on top of that. Sometimes we sleep better on the bed in our camper than in our own home. Our RV share rental guests appreciate having a comfortable bed to sleep on. If you haven't yet, you might want to consider upgrading your kitchen faucet from a cheap plastic faucet to a residential stainless steel faucet for both aesthetics and dependability. We purchased our camper about a year ago and on our first camping trip with it, the faucet spout broke off. We replaced it for $88 with a quality faucet we purchased at a big box store. If you have a crank type jack, consider replacing it with a powered jack for ease of operation. Who wants to expend energy to crank a handle on a hot summer day? On Amazon, we purchased a Bulldog Power Jack. The 2019 price is about $218. We suggest purchasing one that comes with an LED light. We also suggest purchasing a cover to go over your power jack to aid in extra protection against the elements. You're going to want to make sure that you have a water pressure regulator to regulate your incoming water pressure. The one I purchased was about $20 and it regulates the pressure between 40 and 50 psi. If you tend to use the shower in your RV more often, you may want to spend more for one with a gauge on it that you can adjust to a wider range of pressure. Thanks for watching. Give us a like and share this video. It helps others to find us. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. Thanks again.